Hello inventors, this is Soro. In this video, we will learn how we can create Google Dictionary app using MIT Applementor. To create this app, we will use your two things. One is extension and second is API. We will combine both things to create this app. So here we go. So click on the start new project and my project name is suppose TAS. Yes. And okay. So that's my first screen here. Now I'm going to drag and drop one layout here and that is horizontal arrangement, this one. And make this width is around 15%. Like this, sorry, not width. Will they make it width? And height, let's make it uh, 10 right now. Uh, you can make it 15, it will be good. Look, maybe, yeah. Make it 15 and drag and drop your two things. One thing is text box, okay this one and second one is our button this is like search button so just type your search like this and click on that horizontal arrangement and make this both in a center align vertical and horizontal it will look like this click on this text box and make this with this at least 70 percent so it would look like this cool now we need here one more thing click on layout and drag and drop your vertical arrangement and make this width and height is fill parent and we need to drag and drop your one button okay so let's just one button and just this button name is pronunciation now just click on this you can see that button whenever someone click on this button so we have to we have to uh, we have to pronounce that word or we don't need to pronounce actually so this uh, this app will pronounce that word and we need to drag and drop your one list view cool now you can change your color of that your app okay so i'm to make this background color to a little bit very light color like this and change that button color to something like you can make it a dark like this and change that pronunciation button also so make this one you know like green is not like uh, good make it white pronunciation cool now here you can see that's our design of our app you can change design according to your requirement actually it's take a lot of time to design your app okay so like see so you can design accordingly now uh, let's focus on the functionality so first we need to install or import one extension so just search here pure of data extensions dictionary and you can see here there are a lot of dictionary apps so will you define a google dictionary extension so just i will give you that direct link of that extension in the description so you need to download that extension like this click on aix file you need to log in so i have to log in this platform now download this and go to the mit implementer in the left side you will find extension option Click on import extension and then just drag and drop this extension here like this and click on import. Wait some seconds to import this extension. Yeah, now drag and drop this extension here and now let's go to the block section. Now whenever someone click on that search button, so we have to search that word and we have to display the meaning of that word in that list view. So go to the block and whenever someone click on that button one it means search button so we have to search that word so before that we need to click on that cheat dictionary and you will get here the get meaning and word and source language you can see this one so we just need to try and drop this here okay and get meaning word which word meaning like click on that text box and you can see text box dot text this one source language we will use here the en this will define that this is the English language because this extension is not working with multiple language. I actually have just tested this. So we will learn that how we can use it. Okay. Using API. So for right now, we will just use your EN. Okay. So just we are creating this uh, app for that only English language. So we can get the meaning of only English. So now let me just show you one more thing. Click on G dictionary and you will find your meaning strip. This one. So just I can drop this here. And we need to click on list view and you will find your set list view dot elements this one cool and we need to use here one string like a split text drag and drop this here get the value and then split we have to split 
in that the br tag it's just a tag so we just need to type here br like this so whenever someone search some word okay so this will display the meaning of that word in that list here but now how we can use the pronunciation of that word so see there is one simple option like you can use the uh, speech uh, like a uh, text to speech option it's really easy okay but what i will do i'm not going to use your that text to speech option i will use your google uh, sound like let me just search here like hello meaning okay and you can see here click on that hello hello so i want that hello. i want that sound so how can i get that type of sound so for that we are using your one api so you will see here dictionary app just search here dictionary api.dev that's the actually website that will provide you api to get the word meaning so let me just search that word just copy that api and just call your hello world meaning so we can see there are a lot of things we are getting but you can see the audio we are getting also audio see and that audio audio this url is jstatic jstatic is a google store man google will store all the things like assets like their images their sound everything in that domain name okay so you can see there's the hello world and the gv1.mp3 it means there's only one thing is dynamic and everything is just static so what i will do here just call it here like this mp3 and paste this here and just search hello you all now you're getting that uh, like the mp3 file if you want to change that word so you can see let me just change that word to help h-e-l-p help and let's enter help help it means we are get we can get all mp3 files of all sounds using this trick so we just need to copy this and go to the mit app inventor go to the blog here and whenever someone search that word so we have to call it like uh, you can see here oh, one thing we need to do go to design and we need to use your one media like media and see player actually sound is not working for some uh, some sound so that's why we are using a player and go to the blog and click on player and you find your set source player dot source this one okay now in that source we are getting your list click on text and you can see join in that join in the first we will call it simply like this one variable but we have to change that all the things remove this see let me just show you in the zoom like this like this see that's the thing let's go to the here and copy that thing from here to here like cut this and in that block we need one more string like uh, let me just try here one thing here and in the second string, we need to use your sorry, we need to use your text box one dot text. It means word text box one dot text. This one. And in the third string, we have to use your this dot mp3 extension. Like just call it here and remove that hello. It's only help, only help. And you will find here what we will get that the URL stat URL, then our word and that mp3 file cool fine now whenever someone uh, click on that button so, so we will get that meaning or like uh, that sound and after someone click on that button it means whenever someone click on button 2 here then we will play that sound so player one dot start we will say that thing let me just run this app in emulator how it's work let me just see so we can see that's all we here hint for text box so what i will do go to the design click on that text box and change that text to like just your type here you can say like so you can say anything else here like this go to here see type here and just search something like here uh, help okay and now click, click on that search button so here you can see help meaning or you can click on that pronunciation button to check help help cool you can change any word here and you can search any word here like hello and just search that meaning and pronunciation hello cool so like that is really uh, amazing and very useful app you can create this app and you can upload this app and play store so if you have some doubt related to this any app so 
just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problem so after some time we will learn like how we can use the api so we don't need to use the extension to create a dictionary app okay so actually that api is not a, a normal api that is the nested uh, api here so we have to learn how we can use it and it's not very complicated but it's a little bit complicated so that's why i just created this video to make this app simpler to make this dictionary app simpler so anyone can use it but in the next or after some time we will learn how we can use that type of api in our mit app inventor so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye